students. Today we will study a new topic that is endometritis. Endo, as the name implies, is the inflammation of endometrium. As we all know, that inflammation is of two types. Either an inflammation is acute or an inflammation is chronic. So similarly, endometrium is classified as endometritis is classified as acute endometritis. and chronic endometritis so now what are the causative agents of the acute endometritis acute endometritis is basically mostly caused by bacterial agents bacterial infections and what is the most important predisposing, predisposing factor for this acute endometritis? Anybody? Acute endometritis is mostly caused in women with post, mostly in postpartum women. In postpartum women, in which there is some product of conceptus left. If there is some product of conceptus left, this product of conceptus will serve as a nidus for inflammation. And this nidus will lead to the condition that is called acute endometritis. How will we differentiate acute endometritis from chronic endometritis? We will differentiate acute endometritis from chronic endometritis by seeing neutrophils. So, if you are having a biopsy, we will see it under a microscope, neutrophils will be visible. And neutrophils are, have shape like this. Neutrophils will have shape like this and they will be visible under microscope Okay, this is mostly uh, have, this, this condition will mostly present as This condition will mostly present as fever pain and bleeding Uh, the most common causative agent of this acute endometritis is what can be the most common causative agent of acute endometritis just think it can be either vaginal flora normal vaginal flora or intestinal flora so the most and, and this condition is mostly postpartum so uh, most so the first thing that clicks in our mind is uh, group b Strep that is Streptococcus agalexiae. This Streptococcus agalexiae is the most important, is the most common agent of um, postpartum acute endometritis. But this can also be caused by Staph aureus. This can also be caused by Staph aureus and Chlamydia can also present as acute endometritis, but mostly chlamydia causes chronic endometritis. So till now we have discussed that acute endometritis is uh, caused by bacterial infection, and this bacterial infection is mostly uh, this bacterial infection mostly occurs, occurs in postpartum women, and in postpartum women, if the product of conceptus left, this product of conceptus will serve as a nidus of inflammation, and this uh, the, and this and here inflammation will grow, and it will lead to acute endometritis. 
The most common uh, causative agents are group B strep, Staphylococcus aureus, and chlamydia. But chlamydia most commonly presents as chronic endometritis. And it will uh, have the features of fever, pain, and bleeding. And this pain will be in the pelvic or abdominal region. This will present as fe fever, pain, and um, bleeding. Now let me show you a diagram and this diagram will be showing you acute endometritis and let's just see that there are some neutrophils present over there. So if you can see this picture and in this picture there, here is a polymorphonuclear neutrophil. So this is a, a diagram of endometrium and this endometrium is showing polymorphonuclear uh, neutrophils so hence this condition is acute endometritis. Thank you.